I was looking for some change, some innovation. I didn't intend for you to blow my mind. <laughs> when you're balancing and juggling lots of priorities, you gotta keep it light. With our university partners, we are offering a number of four-year degrees and also teaching credential in master's education. At our last graduation ceremony, you notice the students that were in the black regalia. Those were our bachelor degree graduates. We had eight graduates from Sierra Nevada College, three from Brandman University, including two that were the first one to complete their master's in education. Although that is a small number of students, it is a life changer for each and every one of those students. These were the barriers that we promised to break down. We have hit them with a the bulldozer here at LTCC. Zero textbook cost. In math right now, there are no more classes that have any textbook costs or access codes associated with them. This term, there's more than a thousand courses in the nation using My Open Math Lab, which is a free open source software that was developed with the leadership of LTCC through our Zero Textbook Cost Initiative. We opened up a number of new classrooms with advanced tech 21st century instructional technology, flexible collaborative furniture spaces, lecture capture, and a number of other things to modernize our instructional spaces to the benefit of our students and faculty. This past summer, when the governor signed the budget, we got $10 million of state matching funds to match local dollars. So again, promise made, promise delivered on. We are fulfilling promises here at LTCC. Mobility Hub. We said in our 2020 vision that we we're gonna make LTCC the hub of the community. Fast forward to fall 2020, we'll have two brand new electric buses coming to TTD. They'll be the first ones of their kind in the country. So bus service will never be a problem again when we move forward from that. Our next goal was about housing and we committed to assisting on student and workforce housing effort. We've been a partner with the Tahoe Prosperity Center in their basin-wide housing initiative and we'll continue to do that work. But most importantly, we've taken a very important step in bringing our first student housing to this campus. In 2018-19, for our resident and non-resident FTS, we exceeded the 2000 FTS mark, which is a 13% enrollment growth year over year and one of our highest years ever. The PROMISE program is helping be an access magnet to bring students from our local community to this campus. We were able to make it the first bi-state program in the country, so we are now serving our community as it actually exists, something we're very proud of, and it doesn't mean we should take our foot off the gas. We also know that on-campus employment matters, and that's why this year, through the budget the board just approved, we have doubled the amount of financial resources we have for student employment on this campus. Last year, we gave out $165,000 worth of scholarships. That was our highest mark ever. Through the support of our foundation board, I'm happy to announce that we've just recently received a $1 million endowment. The final part of our presentation is when we do some student spotlights. Erin Bitzer, she was a previously incarcerated student program student who completed her AA degree through us, and she got a 4.0 every term in our program. Jessica's story is she came to us via the Advanced Program, um, which is a program to help get folks kind of connected into the workplace and education opportunities. Julio Loera, he's really the, really the poster student for our Lake Tahoe College Promise Program. It really speaks to the need for our Bi-State Promise Program. Seeing and having the wisdom to say, we're gonna support students no matter what side of the basin they're from. I wanna ask you to join with me in fulfilling the promise can you join me in that effort?